All right, we're back uh, in Greenvale. I now remember the name of the town. And I believe, and then when I was last on, I said I was going to try and get this medal. That's what we're going to do. Also, bar, still not open. Very disappointed about it. Is that a dog? Hello, dog. <gasps> hello, doggy. Oh, I must go say hello to the dog. Oh, hold on. We have a new mission. More distractions. I love it. Where'd the dog go? Oh, it's just here. Hey, dog. You sound very friendly. Let's go say hi to the dog. Hello. Hi, doggy. <gasps> Hello. <gasps> You're so small. You're a very small dog. It, wait, I'm pretty sure those kinds of dogs might be bigger. Unless you're a very young dog. Hello. Can I pet you? Okay. Dog. Cool. Found a dog. It's oddly sized. It's a nice car. Can I have it? Okay. Anywho, many distractions. Right, so... We are making progress in our investigation. I believe we need to find more suspects. That's not a, that's not something the game told me to do. Um, the game is telling me to go to the police station, but I ended up falling asleep. In a prison cell. I probably should mention that. And I got kicked out of the police station, so I can't do... I can't go check the file in the murder that I've came all the way out here to see or investigate until tomorrow. So in the meantime, I'm looking for suspects. We have found one suspect, the mother, who is a little, a little, uh, unstable by just walking into random houses. Now I believe I looked at the map last time and the map looked pretty big and there was loads of suspects on the map. so. This small little town area is... I thought this would be the main town, but apparently there's loads of houses on the outskirts, so I guess I'll just go for a drive and just see where we end up. Let's see if we can find some more suspects. I have... I'm not going to look at the map, I'm just going to drive. Let's see where we... Like I said, see where I end up. Oh, dead end. Good start! Okay. We don't need roads where we're going. There we go. See? Fine. Not a dead end. I solved it. We're going totally the right way. Okay, let's have a chat. Tremors. I think Fred Ward was in it. Oh, also yeah. Fred Ward and I said, yeah, we were talking about that. Remo Williams, The Adventure Begins. That one was back in 85, I think. Directed by Guy Hamilton. Guy Hamilton. Hamilton was aiming to start a series like 007, but Ooh. no sequels. A real shame. Do you remember the martial arts they used in that film? Called... Sinanju? What, in Tremors? In martial arts. Wait, I'm no not following. Maybe I missed a part there. Master Chun ran across water, remember? Wait, who, what? And he loved soap operas. Man, that was a good character. He was played by Joel Grey. Joel Grey, okay. During Cabaret. Cabaret. Not seen that. Remo, he had so much makeup on you couldn't tell. Remo? Okay, well, thanks for the tangent. Uh, I don't know what the hell... <laughs> I mean, I was with you when you were talking about Kevin Bacon and Tremors last time, but all of that, no, totally lost me. Okay. Maybe next time he'll talk about a movie I know about. And it will get my interest. What is... is this like, oh, it's like a power station or something? Okay. I don't know. This looks like a lot of running. Let's just go into this person's house. Hi. Closed? What do you mean closed? You can't keep me out of your house. I'm an inspector or a detective. Or F... Wait, am I not FBI? Oh. I'm investigating a murder. I must be allowed entry into your home. Ha <laughs> ha hello. Yes, there is someone in here. Why don't you just see fucking York Morgan's face at your window? <laughs> that is a scary thought. Okay, well, no, I'm not being scary. I'm being a detective. This is just what we do. Uh, oh, peek. No, I'd like to come in. Oh, we have things. What's this? Okay, I'm going to take your crowbar. Thank you. What's in here? It is locked. Okay, I need to... Wait. Can I, can I crowbar it? Or is that weird? Maybe I shouldn't just crowbar it. Wait. Wait. Let me in. Wait. Let me in. Let me in. Okay, I don't, I don't, okay, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think we can crowbar it. Hello? Uh, hi, yes, hello, can I come in please? Okay, maybe I should go the, <laughs> maybe they're not expecting a knock at their garage door. Maybe I should go to the front door. I don't think I'm allowed in. Okay, fine. You win this time, suspect, but I'll get you later. 
Uh, I don't think there's any houses I can go into there, so... Is there another dog? I hear- I hear more dogs somewhere, okay. Okay, let's find a new person to harass in their home. Uh, let's go left. Am I on the right side of the road? Oh, no. Okay, sorry. Sorry, I'm new to the area. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I'm new to the continent, apparently. <laughs> sorry. Alright, never mind. Um... Oh, now Joel Gray. That's what I was waiting for. Is, of course. That's right, Jennifer Gray. Oh, it's very creative. Ooh! Jennifer Gray. Whoops. She's in one of my most favorite movies, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I have not seen that. Six, directed by. But Jennifer I've heard Gray. a lot of good things about it. That one was so eighties. Yeah. Zach, I've... you're not the most cheerful guy I know. What? But That's you really a... do like those cheerful movies. I, well, I do, but those teenage movies back then, didn't we? Breakfast Club and Pretty. I haven't Pink. seen that. I haven't seen that. Fire. I haven't seen that. Ridgemont High. I haven't seen that. The last one was in 1982, directed by Amy Heckerling. Now that was an impressive film. Okay. You've got Sean Penn in the lead. Ooh. With Jennifer Jason Lee and Phoebe Cates. Okay. Not to mention Nicolas Cage and Paul oh. Whitaker were in it Ooh. too. Ooh. And the original book and the script were written by Cameron Crowe. Oh. How could that not be a great film? Yeah, that's very interesting. Wait, what's that? this? When that movie ended, the last words, the end, was from an arcade game. That's right, it was from Missile Command. Missile Com- Oh, Missile Command! Now. God, that's Memories. ancient. I feel like I have a lot of movies to catch up on. Let's just hope we can get to the end of this case soon. Then maybe we can catch up on a few. I'm um, sorry, but- about what movie you want to see next, Zach. Okay, I'll think about it. I'd like to watch The Goonies again. That was something from my childhood. Um, well, it was from my mum. My mum really liked it, and then she got me to watch it when I was a kid, and I was like, oh, that's neat. Um, right, anywho, where am I? I was not paying attention while I was driving. Let's have a look. There was... I, I think I drove through some cones. I don't know if I'm meant to be here, but I'm here, so I mean, yeah, I might as well... Is there something here that you want to check out? We're supposed uh, to go through Anna Graham's file at the sheriff's office, but okay, look, if you want to act on a hunch, then I'm with you. Uh, I'm calling that a hunch is... <laughs> It's very optimistic. Um, I <laughs> I don't know why we're here, York. I'm going to admit something. I don't know why we're here. You should just stop talking about movies and I wouldn't get distracted and just drive random places. Not that I had a plan in the first place, but, you know, whatever. We're going to go have a look. Oh, wow, this place is big. Oh, this is the hotel! Why did I not recognise it? Okay, hi. No, I'm not here. Oh, sorry. I got a bit lost. Okay, I'm a bit turned around. Sorry, sorry, Polly. Uh, <laughs> okay, so that's a hotel. Why is my hotel... I drove through some cones and shit. <gasps> Look at all these cars! Yeah, there's more cones over there. Am I meant to be in this hotel? I'm starting to get the impression I'm not meant to be in this hotel, but okay. <laughs> my theory that this is not a hotel and it is an institute, I am starting to... Uh... You know, I'm, that's the, that theory is starting to get a bit more evidence piled towards it. Okay. Oh, this is a very slow car. Is this car already dented? Wait, was this the one I dented earlier? Oh, I don't know. Very slow. All right. Well, come on, York. Give me some more. Uh, I need some more. I need some more movie shit to talk about. Okay, Zach. I've been thinking about what movie I'd like to watch next. Okay. Right. Hit me up. Hit me with it. Hit me with it. Hey, so let's go. To narrow it down just to one movie. Yes. I put a lot of thought into this. Okay. And I'm sure you'll agree with me. Uh, am I your thoughts? I don't know. Seventy-five. Oh. Directed by Steven Spielberg himself. Okay. The grandfather of Panic movies. Set in a small town in Massachusetts. Um. That movie made me stay away from the beach for years. Jaws. I was afraid that a hand might come floating up. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's Jaws. Jaws. The Easy. Camera work accompanied by that John Williams music. I'd never been that. I'm doing like the Italian before. finger kiss the thing. thing. About it is that it isn't just another Panic movie. Yeah. The mayor who won't close the beach even when there are so many victims. And Chief Brody putting the citizens' lives above all else. The film gave a lot of time to the dispute and friction between them. No, it, it did. Yeah. Uh... Messages for a two-hour film. That's probably another reason why it was such a record-breaking hit. Hmm. One of my regrets in life is that I didn't see it at the movie theater. I guess I was still just a child back then. But still, I wanted to taste that terror in real time. Ooh. 
That reminds me, Zach. Did you know this one? Jaws okay. also appears in another movie that was produced by Spielberg. The second Back to the Future. Oh. It was directed by Robert Zemeckis, who later made Forrest Gump. Oh, all right, cool. Piece, of course, but we'll yeah. discuss that another time. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll, see, we'll, we'll shelf that for another day. Years. Right? After Marty McFly goes 30 years into the future. Oh, yeah, that's the second one, isn't it? I don't remember now. ...is attacked by a holographic shark. Marty is shocked, of course, but looking closer, he sees the words, Jaws Part 19. Oh. The director is credited as Steven Spielberg Jr. In reality, there were actually only four Jaws movies, but it was still a great joke. 30 years from 1985 would be 2015. Yeah, we're kind of past that now. We'll be there pretty soon. Uh, how many I'm Jaws movies have there been so far? Not that many. Oh, uh, you don't want to know what life is like right now, mate. Uh, trust me. I'm trying to get away from it right now. That's why we're here with you, York. <laughs> You're the escape. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, never mind. Right. I think we found a hospital. We might need one. I don't know. I might have suffered some head trauma when I crashed my car earlier. Maybe we should get checked out. Let's see. We can go in. So, I mean, let's go have a look, I suppose. Wait, was there windows to look in that I walked past? No, it's phones. Okay. Because if there's windows to look in, I should be looking in them. All right. Let's have a look at the hospital. Maybe there's suspects in here. Oh. Hello, I see people here. Are any of you people suspects? Are you a sus- <gasps> You are a suspect! Nice to meet you, Mr. FBI agent. Do you know my name? What can I do for you? Do you know my name? Fiona Freckles. Ah, is that because Very nice to meet hat? you, too. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. But how did you know I was FBI? <laughs> yeah. Easy. None of the police in this town wear cologne. That's Ooh. sure. I guess you don't really notice these things yourself, especially your day-to-day -day customs. Wait, are you speaking you to me? Are you to yourself? <laughs> no, he's speaking to me. It's fine. You're a strange one, aren't you? That is an understatement. <laughs> okay, hi. <laughs> uh, no, I was just passing by. Self-diagnosis is a dangerous thing. You might be right. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I've got this funny feeling that if I get in any way hurt or don't eat or don't sleep, I probably end up here. Okay. Hello. Oh, cool. I got paid for checking the weather. Great. What can I spend all of this money on? I'm getting a lot of it. Excuse me, Fiona. Have you got any more suspects in here? I'm looking for suspects. I was hoping you could uh, point the direction to some suspects or just any evidence or just anything interesting. Oh. An open door. Oh wow, this corridor is unnerving for some reason. Oh hey, hi, are you a suspect? Nope. No suspects here. Uh, what about this door? You got any suspects? Oh. <gasps> what does that say there? It says something on the wall, but I can't read it. Hello? Is anyone here the suspect of a murder? Please tell me, I must talk to you. Oh, more places to sleep. I can just decide that I need to sleep in a hospital. Oh, is there a... Oh, no, that's the box where I can keep stuff. Okay. Mm, disturbing lack of suspects in this hospital. Yeah, I think the entire hospital is suspect at this point, especially this door. Okay, I don't... know... what I'm... I don't know what I'm... I'm gonna be... <laughs> Let's be frank, everybody. I don't know what I'm expecting to get out of this. I don't know, I just... I had such a good, successful time with that dress that first time I just walked into someone's house. I'm figuring that I might just find something again. In reality, what I should do... Oh, wait, is this the... Oh, that's the... Oh, that's the emergency exit to the hospital. Okay. Oh, is this the laundry? Okay, this is where everyone keeps the laundry and their clothes. And there's medals. Okay, my medal now. Is there anything in this bin? Oh. I am in this bin. <laughs> okay, well, I can do that, I guess. Cool. I can hide in the bin. I don't know what the hell I'd be hiding from, but I can hide in the bin. Well, if I'm about to have a heart attack, we're right next to the hospital, so it'll be fine. <sighs> 
Oh, 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 oh. Quick, get in the hospital before you pass out. <laughs> oh god, I think I pushed it. Oh, you're okay, York, it's fine. Just open the door. Please, could someone call me a nurse? I think I'm away to die. Oh no, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. I'm just, I just I need to hit the gym. Don't worry about that. Um, you could say, I don't know where I came from, and I don't know where to go. I don't know where I came from. I'm okay. I'm just I'm not gonna make that joke again for like millionth time I have on this channel. It's just so fucking easy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Apparently, in a lot of games I play, I don't know where I came from, and I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> it's a running theme, apparently, for my videos. Okay, right, let's... Uh, I don't know, this hospital shite. It doesn't say whether there's like, is there a door open? Is there not a door open? Okay, we'll give one more door a try. And now we're leaving. Okay, let's drive somewhere else. Maybe we'll find suspects somewhere else. Why is outside red? I think that one there was the one I came in on, but... I'm gonna get a new one. They've got lots of police cars here, it's fine. I'll just take whatever one's... Whatever one I fancy at the time, so this is my one now. Man, all the police at the police station must keep swapping their cars all the time, because I just keep taking all random ones. <laughs> and they're like, God damn it! we gave him... We assigned him a car, and he just keeps picking random other people's cars. <laughs> There'll be like a couple of patrol cops that are just sitting having donuts in a shop and I'll just walk by and go, oh, police car, sweet, and just drive off in it. And they'll just have to get the one that's like crashed into a like lamppost. <laughs> okay, never mind, right. We've got some more movie talk right now. So, where shall we go next? Great question. I don't know. I, I mean, like, are you talking... Where in the town, or like movie talk wise? Because both of those I don't know. I can't even tell you where we came from originally. But we're going this way. <laughs>